Breaking news, Nigerians. U.S. government shames ECOWAS. Reaches agreement with the Niger Junta. Resumes drone aircraft and crewed aircraft operations. And these have got people talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel X TV. Thank you. All is coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The United States military has resumed operations in Niger. Flying drones and other aircraft out of air bases in the country more than a month after a coup stopped activities. The head of air forces in Europe and Air Forces Africa said. Since the July coup that removed President Mohamed Barzoum, the approximately 1,100 1, U.S. soldiers deployed in the West African country have been confined to their military bases. General James Hecker said on Wednesday that negotiations with the military rulers of Niger resulted in some intelligence and surveillance missions resuming. For a while, we, we weren't doing any missions on the base. They pretty much closed down the airfield, Hecker told reporters at the Annual Air and Space Force Association Convention. Through the diplomatic process, we are now doing, I, wasn't, I won't say 100% of the mission that we were doing before, but we are doing a large amount of missions that we are doing before, he said. Heck has said the U.S. is flying boats, crew, and on manner missions, and that this, this flight resumed within the last couple of weeks. The Pentagon said last week that some U.S. force were moved from Air Base 101 near the capital Niamey to another base, April Airport 2201 in Agadez. Please pardon me. Agadez is located about 920 kilometers, same some 500 and same 570 miles northeast of Niamey. The U.S. military has made Niger a primary regional outpost for its patrols with armed drones and other operations against fighters and rebel movements that have seized territory in the region, killed civilians, and fought the army forces. The West Africa recorded more than 1,800 rebel attacks in the first six months of this year, which killed nearly 4,600 people, according to the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS. France, which remains an ally of ex-President Bazoum, has approximately 1,500 soldiers in Niger, declaring his continued support for the removed president, Officials in Paris have called the coup and its officials illegitimate. Nigerian, Nigerian military leaders have also called for the French military to leave the country. Speculation has swayed that, swayed light that the France will be forced into a full military with we, we, we draw her with a French defense ministry source saying last week that the French army was holding talks with the Niger military over pulling out elements of its presence in the country, Al Jazeera. It's very simple. The people deserve the good government they beget. And only time will tell before we see if they are right or wrong. Nigerians too is, is unfolding, and if this amalgamated criminals party APC that Mahmoud Ainek and the judiciary are forcing on us is what we really need, we will all see it. Since the chiefs had changed hands, but insecurity, especially 
the banditry and ransom taking is not abating. We will all answer to the good, the bad, and the ugly situations. We all find ourselves very simple. Hmm. Niger government must be very careful not to lose guard. This American cannot be trusted. They will try to strike at the right time, either sponsoring change of government or benefiting from the resources of the people. They have a special interest in something within the territory of Niger. Niger should be careful. Okay, someone has just offered an advice to Niger Junta. Brother, I agree with you that the new authorities in Niger should not lose their guard for one moment, no matter how they all pretend. Their primary concern is Africa resources. And in the case of Niger, is Unerian and is gold, is there any difference? Is there any difference between African and France? Are all of them not white in Paris? Are they not allies who work together in the exploitation of Africans' resources? Niger's authority should enter new negotiations in which they should get much more for their union and gold. It is time to develop, provide jobs for the youth, and escape. Uh, escape, not even to France, but to other European countries. France is this and corny to be trusted. Okay, guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.